Hey, welcome back CQR fans. Once again, we're at Banner Recreation and Marine in Vernon, BC, Canada, and we're checking out a 2022 Can-Am Outlander 570. You're gonna like this one. Stick around. So this guy has got a 48 horsepower Rotax 570cc V-twin liquid-cooled engine. It is electronic fuel injected. It's got a typical CVT transmission with your park, reverse, neutral, high and low, and standard engine braking. Your drivetrain is selectable to and four-wheel drive, and it's got its Visco Lock QE auto locking front diff. It will have power steering. It's a tri-mode dynamic power steering. So it's gonna have a dual A-arm with 22 in centimeters or nine inches of wheel travel on the front. It's got oil shocks. Your rear suspension is a torsional trailing arm independent with 24 centimeters or eight inches of wheel travel and oil shocks again. It'll have Carlisle Trail Wolf tires, 25 by 8 by 12 in the front, 25 by 10 by 12s in the rear, and of course a 12 inch cast aluminum rim. Looks pretty sweet. So for braking power in the front, you'll have dual 214 millimeter disc brakes with hydraulic twin piston calipers, and you'll have one single 214 millimeter disc brake in the rear with a hydraulic twin piston caliper as well. So your length and your width and your height are going to be 211 by 116 by 124 centimeters or 83 by 46 by 49 inches. Your wheelbase is 129 and a half centimeters or 51 inches. Your ground clearance is 26 centimeters or 10 and a half inches. Your estimated dry weight is going to be 319 kilograms or 704 pounds. Your front rack capacity is going to be 54 kilograms or 120 pounds and your rear rack capacity is 109 kilograms or 240 pounds. Those are huge numbers for racks. That's awesome. You got uh, rear storage capacity of 10 liters or 2.9 gallons. Your towing capacity is going to be 590 kilograms or 1300 pounds. Your fuel capacity is 20 and a half liters or 5.4 gallons. And your seat height is 85 centimeters or 33 inches. So you're gonna have some halogen lights on the front. They will come with the winch, this particular model. The Carlisle tires were actually fairly decent off the hop, but it probably would benefit you again to have some sort of radial in the future. Yeah, it's tough. Closed. Enclosed footwells. There would be your key. And all your switches. I'll get back to that in a sec. Here's your 12 volt power supply. These crazy racks. I am very impressed with the, the weight on that. I don't think we have a battery in here, but there's your display. So your headlight switch, your start switch, your kill switch, your override, your switch for the winch. And I believe those are your heated grips. Your 4x4 switch is right there. Your throttle. Built-in hand guards. Can-Am is known for. And you're buying such a robust machine. You sit on one of these and it kind of reminds me of... Uh, Kawasaki Brute Force, you sit higher up, it just feels like a solid, bigger machine. It's not bigger, but it just gives you that kind of feeling. Yeah. A great rack here in the yeah, back too. My, uh, so you'll have your one tail light in the back here. 
It's kind of silly that they didn't put a two inch receiver back there with 1300 pounds of towing, but eh. whatever. People will be people. I bet you could actually weld, yeah. on, weld something onto that. Yeah. And your storage capacity oh. back here is right here. Yeah. And just Bravo open this yeah. up. And there it is back there. Bravo Victor. Solid racks. I love that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There's your gear shift. Built-in hand guards, your 4x4 switch, and your throttle, LCD display, there's no battery in this guy right now so I can't light it up, got your headlight, your power switch, your start switch I should say, kill switch, override, your winch, and heated grips. I love the camo color on it too, it's a nice color gonna have some 35 watt halogen lights in the front so you're gonna want to change those to LEDs it will come with its own winch which is great there's your key and your 12 volt power supply again completely enclosed wells that's good Well guys, this will about sum up yet another episode of CQR. So I appreciate you guys being here. Once again, we're at Banner Recreation and Marine in Vernon, BC, Canada. Checking out this 2022 Outlander 570. Sweet looking ride. It's a solid bike. Can definitely never go wrong with Can-Am. Come and check it out here and let them know that Canadian Quarters Review sent you. They'll take great care of you. Thanks again for watching guys. We'll catch you on the next one.